All right, so this is um, Rob Ashford, and this is about making myself a better presenter. So what I'm doing is basically videoing myself reading things as if I have an audience. And by doing so, I, I'm, uh, I'm about to join Toastmasters. I've, only, I've been to one meeting. I haven't officially signed up, but I'm about to do that this Tuesday. And so what I'm trying to do is really make myself a better presenter. And so I'm reading different things and trying to do it in different tones so that, uh, you know, I, even though I, I think I'm speaking quite loudly and, and whatnot, when I, when I listen to it, I'm really not. I, I sometimes can barely hear what I'm saying. So I'm trying to make that impression. I'm trying to figure out what it is that I'm doing that I can improve upon, what it is that I'm doing that's wrong, what I'm doing that's right, what needs, to, what needs work, you know? So what I'm gonna read here is something I wrote, well, it was about uh, five years ago now, and this is called Using Those Down Moments to Burn Bright. So here we go. As any parent of a young child knows, eight hours of uninterrupted sleep is about as fictional as a presidential election speech. Well, you all know about that. Even four hours is in the realm of X-Files territory. Mostly fictional. Now, I realize that many, for many couples with a wee bairn, these sleeping patterns are normally, although not always, related to the mother. I am here to tell you, I as a father of a two, of a, well, at the time, a one year, 11 month old son has seen the light. For five days and more importantly, four nights, I have looked after my son. I should note that previous to this time, he had never been without his mother overnight. I decided to write this article after 3 p.m. on day two, <laughs> when for what seemed to me no apparent reason, I suddenly felt all of my energy had been sucked from my body. I felt like a diver in a dry suit, complete with weights and air tanks trying to run after a baby bunny. My realization came after I spoke to my wife over the phone that evening when she told me that that was how she normally felt on most days. Like most two-year-olds, mine appears to have an unlimited supply of energy. Even watching him running in circles, jumping on furniture, screaming at the cats, crying, kicking when trying to change his diaper could turn my body to what can only be described as lead. He would get upset when not getting what he wanted or when I did not understand what he wanted or when not getting it now. How can boiling an egg, for example, become such a seed of frustration? And yes, it can. And I'm going to do a second video to finish this off.